I don't really like physics. I like biology and some of it chemistry. They said it's more of a boys' subject. Oh, so if I get this GCSE in physics, what am I going to do with it? Right, come on, guys, we got this. Why do so few girls choose to study physics post-16? Physicists and educationists have come up with many theories, but what do the girls themselves have to say? I think the teacher thinks that the boys are more capable than the girls because he sort of, when he, when he asks people to say things or to do, do examples of practicals, he always picks boys or he always, to moan at people, he always picks the girls, really. To draw out the pupils' perspective, Teachers TV sent a team of young women back to school. Rosie Walton, who's doing a PhD in particle physics. Laura Kennedy, the features editor of Cosmo Girl magazine. And Michelle Dow, an engineer who worked for British Gas for 15 years. The team spent the day at Hayden School, a mixed comprehensive in northwest London. Right, Johnny, you're one of my superstars. Okay, what I want you to do is fill one of the boxes as best you can, all right? Yeah? So someone's going to be at work. The day begins with a year 10 GCSE applied science lesson on electric current, part of the physics module. The Head the of science page, please, Dave right? Dennis is filling in, in the absence of the class's regular okay, teacher. Right, well, you go. Consult with your bench if you're not sure. Come and do one for me. So, right? is his teaching style going to encourage more girls to stick with physics? Fantastic. Well done, Daniel. And pass it on to any other table you like. Okay, George's group. Okay? Come on, George. You, you can hold a gold cup and hold a pen. Come on, then. We're going to investigate how we can get electricity from lemons. Okay, last night I made myself a nice salad, okay, a bit of olive oil, a bit of salt and pepper, lemon, okay, and... Um, the visitors were impressed with how the lesson started. I found it quite interesting because at the beginning they were all really involved when the first experiment came out and when the lemons came out they were like, oh... It's really, it was a real fast-paced lesson, wasn't it? It was like yeah. really straight away right into it. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, when they were getting hands-on and really stuck in and squeezing the lemons and getting the equipment out and all that kind of thing, they all seemed to be quite engaged. All the girls were agreed that this was the sort of lesson they liked. <laughs> So what is it that you prefer? Is it the practical or is it the written work? Practical. practical. Usually we do more writing. Yeah. yeah. We don't usually have a whole lesson of practicals. And we don't do practicals like every lesson. Yeah. We, we have to do quite a lot of risk assessments as well, which is annoying. <laughs> Put 250 centimetres square of water at 40 degrees Celsius into a beaker. On the table that I was looking at, I noticed actually that the boys were getting their hands on the bits of metal and the lemons and stuff, and the girls were looking at the instructions in there. Yeah. Oh, that was just on that particular yeah. table, I don't know. Really I found no, I thought it was the other way around on another table, really? actually, yeah. There was, um, there was a guy reading the instructions out, and, and the, girls inter the girl was holding it on, and interacting with it on my table. Right, we're going to make up Johnny, the next self, I mean. He's going to take charge? Yeah, he did. Oh. Johnny, I've always said you're a superstar. You're going to take charge of this bit for me? Your sir's main man. Yeah. Come That's on, George. Right, let's go. In this class, the teacher has ensured that girls and boys sit together. So, do you bleach your hair with lemon oil? Yeah. Well, you've got no, a holiday. I've actually done that. What's the sun? Yeah, yeah. you do it. Yeah. And you put, like, lemon juice in it. And it turns yeah. yellow. Yeah. For me, it was interesting to see the way that the girls and the boys interacted because I went to a girls' school. So I, I didn't have the feeling that I wasn't good at physics at, at my school, but I do wonder whether the girls feel... I didn't. I felt that the teacher was inclusive. Yeah. That, that when they were doing that stuff on the board, maybe the guys would tend to pass the pen to another guy. Guy. Yeah. Than... Right. Come on, the girls. Right. Come on. Sort yourselves out. You get a little bit behind. Yeah. Right. Come on. When the girls could see the relevance of what they were learning about, the lessons seemed to have more impact. So we're taking this idea of lemons and now transferring it to perhaps something that you might put in your mobile phone. You're not going to put a lemon in your mobile phone. All right, yeah, two lemons. The lesson is engaging, but some of the girls have reservations. I don't really think it's very relevant when you get out of school. If there was something that physics, like you could do something in the future that 
to do with physics and it would be like better and more interesting but because you can only really think of being a physics teacher. I can't think of anything else. Okay. <laughs> In the second class, the team observes. Likon Mohammed is teaching a GCSE physics lesson on electrical resistance. Today we will do an experiment where we find out how does the length, that is the total distance is traveling, is going to affect the resistance. You've got to measure two quantities to find out the resistance. For the girls in this class, relevance is even more of an issue. So, Remember at the beginning of the year, he goes to us, um, even if you don't want to do physics when you're older, everything you learn will help you in life, because like, all the stuff that you learn will help yourself. I don't think it has. No, it's what we learn today, resistance and length. We're going to use that. <laughs> I don't even know why we did it. Most of the girls in this class saw themselves as more academic than their peers doing applied science, with its strong element of coursework. They had all opted to do two science GCSEs, not three. But most of us wanted to take like a more academic route, but not three sciences that academic. Like, okay. Because if you take two sciences, then you can do whatever other um, subjects you want as well. So what about the applied science? Why didn't you like the idea of that, or did you? Apparently it's only for like, I don't want to say it actually. It's so <laughs> apparently, yeah. apparently it's for dumb people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. Why do you, you think, think you, you look think... into everything as much? Well, I don't do. think like it's as it's much like detail. And then coming to the ruler. In this class, the boys tend to dominate. The fact that there are fewer girls here than in the applied science class reflects the situation nationally, where almost 50% more boys than girls take physics at GCSE. By the time they reach A level, over three times as many boys are taking physics. What do you think puts girls <coughs> off doing physics at a higher level or even choosing physics in the first place? The teachers said to us when they gave us like a briefing of physics, I remember this like ages ago, they said it's more of a boys subject. Yeah. But and it's like they say about like other subjects like textiles yeah. and stuff, and that's more for girls. Yeah. I think maybe the job opportunity that it leads you to, no one really wants to do those. No girls really want to do those. But maybe, do you know what the what job jobs, opportunities yeah. are? Like no. pilots and like engineers and doctors and, I don't know. So why couldn't girls be No, it's not they couldn't be, it's that they don't want to be. They don't want to be? I don't think they All do. girls don't want to be pilots? No, no lots, no. lots don't. Not many you don't get many female pilots why do or many female engineers. Maybe. it's a manly job. Since years ago it's been seen as a manly job, and like, like girls have never done it. Yeah, so, so you think that affects whether yeah. girls might go to do it yeah. at a later date. If you go in for a job as like a pilot or something, they're going to be like, oh, what's going on there then? It's a bit weird. Many educationalists believe mixed classes are one of the barriers to girls doing well in physics. If your school decided to have single sex physics lessons, how do you think they might be different? I, th well, I think we'd work better. We'd learn honestly. more. We'd definitely learn more. I think it'd be better because I don't really feel that we're learning much with the boys being there. I think it'll be better. Okay, it will take the fun out. Yeah, yeah it will. I love, yeah. Because ah. even though, you know, they're like, what, 14, 15, and, you know, they're this age, they're still really immature. Yeah. And they still, you know, just do really weird young stuff that it's funny because it's so stupid. <laughs> and it just kind of um, so makes the lessons you fun. Would, you don't want them to be there for your learning, but for your entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take the readings of voltage and current. So do you think the teachers encourage the boys more in these lessons, in kind of physics lessons? I think they do sometimes because they don't really like listen as much and so it has to be like gone over more. But then if like the girls are like stuck with something, he will come over and explain it. But I don't think he'll spend as much time unless we ask him. Anything in the, real world. the girls say the teacher's gender is irrelevant and claim the boys still received more attention when a female physics teacher took them for a revision lesson. She was concentrating on the boys. <laughs> yeah, she was concentrating on the boys more than the girls, I think. What, checking they were like out? Yeah, checking that, yeah, making sure they, they muck did around, did all the work. <laughs> stop them mucking around then help some of it. And because we're not mucking around, she just kind of assumes that we don't need any help. Sit down to your place and start uh, doing the graph, OK? If you need help, The girls were aware of a lack of role models. We thought it was, like, quite strange that no women have actually, like, taken physics that far to become really well-known. It's only men that have become famous, sort of, from it, and so we have, like, less chance, so there's no point trying. 
there's always that let down that no one will ever accept you like trying to go that far just because you're a woman. At the end of the day, um, it's time to I, feed I back to the I physics teachers. Um, we normally don't hear what they're thinking. Yeah. I mean, in my lesson, if you remember, the girls, all of them got very good results today. They, they were finishing very quickly. One group of girls, they needed help. They were not shy to ask for help. They were calling me again and again and got all that done. So I was getting the feeling that, of course, they are doing very well. But if they're saying other things as well outside, probably we can compare that as no, well. I don't think they were saying that they're not doing very well. Mm -hmm. I think what they were saying afterwards is they can't see the reason behind doing this subject. They can't see the link to maybe the real world or where that might take them career, careers-wise. Why would we want to be a scientist when, you know, that, that's kind of what boys do. Your group of students, they could th think of two or three jobs, you know, pilot, engineer. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the group from applied science, the only thing they could think of was physics teacher. That's amazing, because I know my colleagues do a lot of work in, I mean, part of the applied science course is learning about careers in applied science, and they have to profile people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I find that amazing. So, so in the lesson this morning, when we're talking about mobile phones, for example, and, and, and batteries in, and mobile phones, did they still feel that the lesson was inappropriate for them? or No, they, they, they liked the relevance. And yeah. I think from the conversation that we had, they probably want a little bit more, more. of relating yeah. what they're doing to something in real life. And we yeah. all commented that you've done a really good job kind of saying, well, we've been talking about a cell, we've been talking about a battery, let's use it kind of and in the real world. Mm -hmm. Whereas in physics, when they were doing the resistance, mm -hmm. they were like, why would we ever need to know? Next lesson, they're gonna find a lot of relevance. I'm mm -hmm. glad to hear that they're having lots of curiosity why they uh, would want to even find out about the resistance of that wire. Why would that be any uh, relevant? Now, next lesson, when they come in, good thing that they're asking these questions, uh, planning to um, go into their um, something that interests them. We're going to go into mm. those things like you know, even hair drying yeah. um, equipments. Yeah. Lots of girls are interested in doing say, hair and beauty and things like that. So you can show them the relevance. But they do get curious. The girls do get really curious. By the end of the session, both teachers feel the feedback has been useful. One thing I've certainly learned is that um, putting that role model thing which you were saying before, to show them figures who have done well in this field, and it's not just for boys, maybe getting in speakers, trying to go for a bit discriminating, not the proper word, but yeah. towards female who are doing it, and they'll give them the confidence. So that's it. something certainly I've yes. learned, yeah, so it'll be useful. And I think something to take back to the faculty I mean, in terms of monitoring across the, across the department, um, just to to, re, to make the the aware, bring the awareness of this back up again. Yeah. I, I think we're all very conscious of learning and progress, and it's just really ensure making certain that that's for boys and girls, particularly in science, which we know is a very tricky subject for some. Yeah.